Okay, so I just cleaned up the chamomile containers and dropped some more seeds. And there's, that bird is purple. It's a hummingbird and it has pretty purple. Don't fly away. Oh. Dang it, it flew away. Okay, so back to the uh, chamomile here. Um, I just went and dropped some more chamomile seeds. Um, I know that they're supposed to drop their own seeds, but I dropped some more in there anyway. And, um, and just put a little soil on top. I had already watered them. So hopefully um, I'll get a lot more this year. I still have some. Probably gonna go ahead and pick those tonight, take them in the house and let them dry off. But I've been leaving some on there so that the bees could have stuff to do. Let's move on to the loofah. Can I move this up? Okay. Look at that. Look how big they are. I mean, huge, huge, huge. About to get closer to it. That's how it looks. That's like real life right there. That's how big they are. They are, they have really, really grown. Look at that. This yellow one is about to turn. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? There it is. This yellow one's about to turn brown. But I have lots of them. Lots of them. I have one laying up there. Look at that. You see her? And if you look right here, there's some more. Look at that. Trying to, let's see right there trying to grow some right there so yeah the loofah it it's so weird it waits to the end of the season to like want to kick in but I got over 20 of them and I'm happy about that and I'll uh, take the skin off clean them off keep the seeds and use them all year long it's just me and my mom <laughs> so yesterday yesterday evening I went through these little flies. Let's move. Let's move, shall we? I went through the gardening, the garden beds. I went through the garden beds, okay? And um, let's do this. Sorry. Went through the garden beds. I sifted them and then I sprayed them all with neem oil till they were like soap. Then I went back and sifted through them some more and put more neem oil in it. Why? To clean, to um, kill, to get rid of any remaining rubs. And right now, I didn't get to plant stuff today. That seems like ash or something. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't get to plant anything today, but let me show you what I did do. So I put um, soil bags and where I want to plant. I want to plant in these three beds um, tomorrow. Plant here, plant over there, and plant here in this garden bed right here. This one is the closest to the house besides the green stalk and stuff. This garden bed right here is so weird because I never ever find any grubs in here. And that's not a bad thing. That is a happy thing. I till and till and till and till and I never find any grubs in here. So I tilled it yesterday and I sprayed it and then I tilled it and spray it some more. Also, I noticed that the soil doesn't deplete as much in this garden bed. I do not know why, but it just doesn't. And I'm very, very happy about that. This is the garden bed I usually put some cabbages in. So that is my plan for tomorrow. I have the soil for each bed. I'll get some of my amendments out and I will be planting the greens and cabbages tomorrow those will be planted first then after that I'll be planting cauliflower and broccoli and stuff like that but the greens and the cabbages got to get planted first 
Also, I have tunnels. I'll be putting tunnels on everything. So I have to be very strategic um, in what I do tomorrow. Um, I just didn't have time to do it today, but I did sift through the garden bed yesterday and sprayed them down with neem oil. I have a container. I just poured the neem oil straight into the container. Sorry, just noticed that was dirty. And then I hooked my water hose up to it as a sprayer. And then I sprayed the garden beds down, 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 down. The lufo may stay up maybe another two weeks. It's going to start, it's slowly starting to die off. It's 80 degrees. It's 80 to 90 degrees during the day. And at night, it gets down to 39, 40 degrees. And in order for lufa to survive, it needs to be over 50 degrees all day long. So during the day, it's perked up, it's happy, but at night, I'm pretty sure it's suffering. So I'm just waiting for some more of the lufa themselves to turn kind of yellow. And then once I see the plant really start dying off, well, the plants, because there's like seven or eight of them, I will come cut all the lufas off and then chop it down. And then I will decide if I'm going to put um, sweet peas or what I'm going to put here. My eggplant and peppers behind me, all of a sudden I'm getting peppers. Don't know why, but they're tiny. Uh, I'm going to leave them in there until the last minute. I do have um, an eggplant or two that's sitting there ready to harvest. But eggplant is weird because you can't really preserve it and you need to be ready to cook it once you cut it. So, kind of happy I didn't get a lot of eggplant this year, but wish I would have planted things a lot sooner. Also, if you're new to gardening, this is the time to order your potatoes. Yeah. So I went on Gurney's. You can go to Baker's Creek. You can go to Johnny Seeds. You can go to Gurney's. You can go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's to see, but usually they start bringing in their um, tomatoes and asparagus in in the spring but if you go online you can order it now and one thing about asparagus once it takes hold takes root you will have that plant for 20 years I've even heard some people say they've had it for 30 years it has a long tap root and it comes back consistently all year long so don't think you have to replant asparagus every year because you do not you let it grow the first two years and you cut it back each year and then by the third year you'll be having big stalks of asparagus to plant so hi mr. pro so that's it that's all I really did today I did water the seedlings um, <clears throat> fed the chickens back there I gave them some new fruit and worms mix and they just tore it up for about an hour there they tore it up so my chickens will let you know if they like something. One time I gave them some dried min, uh, minions fish and they hated it. They were like, we don't know what you're doing, but we are land creatures. We are not fish people. So that is it. Hopefully I can come out tomorrow and record a little bit what I'm going to do. But tomorrow is, um, I call it, I see a, sorry, I see a grasshopper in my loofahs. Tomorrow is caregiving day, I call it. I'll be taking my mom and my aunt out to lunch tomorrow. So um, I will be done doing what I need to do probably by 9 a.m. in the morning tomorrow so that I can get ready to care for my, spend time for, with my aunt and my mom tomorrow. And hopefully I'll be back in time to watch Miss Celinda's live on Sunday. Okay, that is it. As I always say, please find peace within yourself and please be peaceable with others. Oh, there is something I wanted to add regarding the recalls. Um, I just saw in a news update and the news update has most of the information right, but it doesn't have all of it. So if you want to know the gist of recalls, go to FSIS com or .gov and FDA. 
those are the people that are investigating the recalls and those are the people that are going to give you the straight up information as to what's going on i'm not saying the media is not telling the truth but um i don't think they're getting some things right they recently said that so in the article it said that they have linked the e coli to onions from a farm in california called taylor farms and then at the end of the article it said well we don't know they don't know officials don't know if it's really linked to taylor farms so see if you don't know then don't don't say it um i don't remember what news brief this was but it popped up and i really looked at it because i want to know so i'll be trying to check the fda page um again tonight to see if there's another update and if there is i will make a recording and i will definitely definitely send it to you but just know that if you want to know what's going on with the investigations and outbreak of recalls go to those websites go to the fda website and the um, food safety and inspection website fsis they will give you the lowdown. They will tell you what's going on. They will tell you if there are updates. Okay? So as I always say, please find peace within yourself and please be peaceable with everyone around you. I love you all. Have a fabulous Saturday evening. Bye.